In our previous video, many of you talked about being single or dealing with a non-existent sex life. And we get it. It can be frustrating. That feeling is what we call sexual frustration. It's when you're just not satisfied. Feeling agitated or tense because your sexual desires or needs aren't being met. Having an unfulfilled psychological or biological response to a sexual desire is the root cause of this frustration. But how does it manifest? Let's dive right into the signs that you might be sexually frustrated. Short Fuse Syndrome Has your patience been wearing thin lately? Feeling a surge of anger that's hard to control? If you find yourself snapping at the smallest things, it could be a sign of pent-up frustration. Your body is like a pressure cooker. When the lid is about to blow, every little annoyance can feel like a major catastrophe. This may be because sex releases endorphins and oxytocin, both of which are mood-boosting hormones. And less action in the bedroom means fewer feel-good moments. So if you want to turn your bad mood into a blissful sigh, resolving your sexual frustration and finding healthier outlets for your energy are key. Unhealthy coping. When you're feeling sexually frustrated, you're probably going to want to blow off steam. And sometimes we do so in unhealthy ways. A common example of this is engaging in risky behaviors like impulsive one-night stands or hooking up with someone you might not know well. While these actions might offer temporary relief, they often come with emotional consequences and potential health risks. It's important to recognize that seeking solace in fleeting encounters might not address the root of your frustration. Over-the-top flirting or shyness The interesting thing about sexual frustration is that it can affect us in different ways. For example, notice a sudden surge in your flirting game, or is it the opposite? Because your body is trying to cope with a lot of uncomfortable emotions swirling within. Sexual frustration can change the way we act around people. For some, it might heighten their flirtatious behavior because of a subconscious urge to compensate for the lack of genuine connection or intimacy. Others become more shy and less self-confident around those they're interested in because their unmet desires have made them more fearful of potential rejection. Frequent Fantasies Ever catch yourself daydreaming about intimate scenarios more than usual? Well, this may be your mind's way of compensating for the lack of real-world connection. When you're sexually frustrated, these daydreams serve as a quick fix, a momentary escape from the not-so-exciting reality. These fantasies can allow people to explore unfulfilled desires or unmet physical needs. But relying too much on these daydreams can become another unhealthy coping mechanism. It may even cause your sexual frustration to persist. Hypertension Physical symptoms can also be a clue to what you're feeling. A surprising sign of sexual frustration is hypertension. Yes. Not having a good sexual experience can elevate your blood pressure. Who knew? This is because pent-up frustration of any kind can cause you to release more adrenaline, causing your heart to beat faster and raise your blood pressure. In short, bottling up your dissatisfaction about your sex life can make your heart race, and not in a good way. Depression or anxiety. Feeling down in the dumps for a while, it could be more than just a bad day. Persistent feelings of sadness, hopelessness, or excessive worry might be signaling a deeper emotional struggle. Going through long periods without sexual activity can reduce endorphins in the body, which might lead you to develop feelings of depression and anxiety. Now, this doesn't mean that everyone dealing with sexual frustration will experience anxiety and or depression, only that it can happen. After all, sexual fulfillment is an important factor of our emotional well-being. Remember, Everyone experiences sexual frustration at some point. It's a normal part of the human experience. The key is finding healthy ways to address and alleviate it. How do you deal with sexual frustration? Share your thoughts, tips, or funny anecdotes in the comments down below. If your frustration persists and starts affecting other areas of your life, you might want to consider seeking professional help. Talking to a sex therapist can help. And if you're interested in learning more, click here to watch 4 Psychological Secrets of Orgasm and five signs you're suppressing your sexual needs. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. Thanks for watching.